Here I am all ready to go meet the beautiful Natita from Natural Dane. We are going for a fun day of fabric shopping and I just want to give you all a heads up and say hi and I guess I'll be blogging the best I could. Vlogging? Vlogging? I don't know what it is. I'll be taking video <laughs> of our day. Okay, take care. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. This is a jacket I miraculously thrifted yesterday. It was brand new with tags. So my style for $12. Woohoo! Necklaces I made. Um, heart from a very sweet friend. And this one is all, it's an old piece soldered with a whole bunch of vintage pearls inside of it from old costumes. And that's an assemblage piece. And my jeans, my Mime jeans, and my Art of Homage worship tee. And we are off. Here we are. First stop, Hi. Fabriktopia. Hello. I'm here with yes. beautiful natural Dean. <laughs> Natita, we're having a great day already. Yes, I'm looking at the wrong. That is gorgeous. Are you looking at this? Mm -hmm. wow. Look at her beautiful fabric. Oh, oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. You should record her. Hi, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Bethany and I'm here to share my very delayed May plans, my possibly slightly entertaining haul to make up for the late delay, and um, just talk you through what happened yesterday when I went on my day trip fabric shopping, which was so much fun. Um, I went with Natural Dane. She's here on YouTube, Natita. She is literally the sweetest person. And you know when you see somebody online and you wonder, my gosh, do they look that good in real life? Like when I watch her videos, I'm just like, gosh, she's like glowing. Does she have a filter on her camera? And no, in real life, she really does have this like beautiful, flawless skin. And she's such a sweetheart. And recently she had had a pattern discard where she was very generous to offer patterns she no longer used and uh, she said, if you just pay shipping, well, she blessed me with some of the patterns and I just love them. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I'm becoming a pattern holic, but I guess that's how it is with me. I'm either all or nothing. <laughs> so now that I'm in the pattern world, I guess I have patterns. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the four she blessed me with. This is really nice. That red one, I definitely wanna make. Definitely, definitely out of a really pretty brocade. And when we were fabric shopping yesterday, I wish I had had this, but I had kept it in the bag. Um, but I wish I had had it. I'm gonna have to go back and get some of the brocades that I saw. Um, this coat, which I am dying, I'm dying over that version. I so wanna make that. Um, and then this top is really cute too. 
I'm not so sure I can pull off the cropped one or the tiny one at the top. I think I'm a little old for that, but I like the other two versions and I'll have to give those a try. And then this coat, this coat is just everything for me because that looks like such a cuddly soft, throw it on, look chic and go kind of coat. So those were really nice. And thank you again, Natita. I love them. Um, so yesterday we set out, she was kind of new to the area and we were going to go fabric shopping and I was only too thrilled because nobody ever wants to go fabric shopping with me. I don't know anybody else that sews and my son, I think at his age, he's kind of like, uh, mom, no, because I've been dragging him since he was a baby. Um, so I just wanted to share with you some of the things that we got. We went to three shops. We kind of started on the low end of things, um, like discount, kind of like warehousey kind of prices, um, not the fanciest places. And I will put in some footage um, just before this. Um, but then we went up to like the higher end that we have here in Houston. Tigre, I have an old yoga mat that Tigre has fallen in love with. and. Actually, it's good. He's leaving me alone. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to share my haul with you really fast. It's just a few things. Um, the first place we went to was called Fabriktopia. I love the name. It's like Fabriktopia. <laughs> so it's kind of a simple um, layout inside. They have a lot of special occasion stuff, but then they have some odd random um, really tacky stuff and then they have some really pretty stuff this is one that as soon as i saw it i had gone there about a year ago and this was one that i remembered i was dying for oh my gosh i can't even is this not gonna make the most gorgeous kimono Ugh, i love it it's so beautiful 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 and I got enough, um, it says it's made in Italy by, I can't read the name, it looks like Nino Brochi, could be the name, or Prochi. It's kind of cut off on the selvage there. Um, but it is beautiful, and I'm so happy I got that. The second place is called, I think it's called Fabric Decor. And actually, um, the last time I was there, because they're down the street from one another, was also a year ago, and I had gotten this. And I just recently discovered this um, last week when I was excited to go on this shopping trip yesterday. And I went through uh, my storage and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this. And it's a faux leather, vegan leather, uh, with this amazing embossed pattern and I had bought this to make bags with and I'm so excited that I have this because now I've got the sewing bug again and that is gonna be really nice I'm so excited so yesterday I didn't get much there was a lot of things I liked but I really was kind of going in there very specifically like the mood boards I had posted on my Instagram I don't know if you had seen um, I'll put a link for you to check it out. I had two mood boards of like ideal outfits that I wanted to try to find fabric for. And I knew I wasn't get, gonna get for everything because I still am working on my May makes. <laughs> no apologies, that's just life. Um, but I did see this um, satin um, in the clearance room that they had. And well, we both saw this and we just died for the color. And I knew I had to get some. I really wanted um, to make like a really long full skirt and wear this with like a denim shirt or a tank top. And I just thought that was so amazing. And the best part was it was only, um, I believe it was only $3.95 because the entire thing with tax, I got um, four yards, I believe and it came to like just a little over $17. So that was a great deal. Oh, and the peacock feather fabric, um, I had gotten like two and a half yards and I think that that one was um, also 17 or $18. So really good deals on those two. Now, then we went to high fashion fabrics. Now, anybody that knows me, even if they're not interested in sewing or fabric, 
they know that I love high fashion fabrics. Like I just, I used to actually work next door um, at one of the buildings there and I literally would scarf down my lunch probably three to five days a week I would go there for my lunch break. So I'd eat something super fast and then I would walk over there and just like roam, you know, either the high fashion home or high fashion fabrics. And it was just like my happy place. Um, and now I haven't been there in a while also. Well, I went there for Mother's Day, but I haven't really gone there. So when I went for Mother's Day, I just went to the home uh, store. But yesterday, I found, it's quite unlike me to get two solids. I usually am not a solid person, but I found this amazing red charmeuse, which was the exact right weight that I wanted. It was not too thin where I'm gonna have to wear a slip. And I'm gonna insert a photo of the dress that um, inspired. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm actually gonna make. So I'm actually gonna make this one. This is that vintage pattern I recently hauled from that big lot that I bought online on eBay. And I'm gonna make that long version. And I literally cannot wait. It's gonna be so beautiful. And that cape that goes, the collar goes all the way around the back like a little capelet. Oh my gosh. I, I literally, I'm just dying to finish this dress so that I can start on this one. So that's really exciting. Be a good boy. And the last one, oh, this one just has me so excited. I literally dreamt of this fabric last night and not even kidding. Um, I don't know if any of you do that or if I'm just a weirdo, but <laughs> this is the fabric that I found. And this also was in my mood board. I think this is almost an exact copy of this of the one that I saw. Look at that. I just, this is just amazing. I mean, the edge is like, ah. Uh, and so I'm gonna make actually a long, full sheer skirt. So it's gonna be this way. And then that, that border is gonna be the hem. And then I'll have enough at the top to actually cut that part off and use that for trimming like a top or you use it to edge sleeves or something but that is just to me beyond words i just love it so much so that's what i got on my trip i'm gonna put this up here because he's liable to start clawing it um so that was really exciting i had so much fun we ate at an amazing little cafe and we just talked and talked and talked about all things sewing and it was so much fun so thank you again natita for spending your day with me um i wanted to show you quickly my may makes um i have no apologies because now you know i'm sewing for myself and i wanted to keep on a schedule and i think i did considering pretty well uh, I think maybe other people would say, well, you didn't finish everything you set out to plan. Well, oh well, I didn't, but I also, you know, I work a, a job that is really strenuous and it takes a lot out of me and it's not excuses, but it is what it is. So the first thing is I did not plan on making this, but anybody that's like a fabricolic, I'm sure you'll understand. Sometimes fabrics just call to you. And it doesn't matter what are the plans you have, they're just like, make me. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, I'll make you. So this was about two weekends ago and I had to make this kimono. It just was calling to me. And these two fabrics, like I said, I was gonna make a lined one. And I actually had pieced together the sleeves so that they are, you know, using both fabrics on the outside. And I wanted to make it reversible, but then I decided, you know what, I don't want to because I just want this sleeve to be like the centerpiece. The sleeve inside is just solid. So I just wanted it like that. And as I'm wearing it, I've already worn it once to work. Like it does kind of come open as I'm walking and you do see the inside and I that satisfies me. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I did feather stitch all around and on the sleeves. Um, so that gives like an extra detail. And I did that in like red thread. 
So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, I really love it. <laughs> so I did that. And then, doo -doo -doo, maybe I didn't complete everything on my list, but I did conquer the pesky hot pink ultra suede skirt. And I am so happy that I did. Um, I gave it kind of an unconventional finishing. Um, you, some top stitching along the side, uh, side seam, if you can see that. And it's all finished. It does need a good pressing. Unfortunately, my iron has decided to die. So I have a new one that's gonna be shipped this week. Um, and I did finish it with giant hooks and eyes on the outside, which I just thought gives it like a really cool look and it, it kind of takes it from it just being so prissy and elegant to something that's a little cooler. So I'm really happy with that. I cannot wait to wear it. Um, that's the great news. The bad news is that I need to get back into shape because, um, yeah, I've gained a little weight since I've started making this, so. But that's okay too. You have to give yourself grace and just understand we're just human and not everything is ideal and perfect. Um, the two bags that I had planned to make, I had started. So those two I did out of this fabric. I had not cut it out from the other fabric, but they are pretty much ready for their linings and handles. Um, I just need a little bit of time. This one already has its lining. I've already done. Um, so that just needs to actually be put together and some handles and it's pretty much done. So those will be really nice. And that really won't take much work. Um, but I have been focusing on other things now to try to get them finished. Um, the coat, the Anthropology tablecloth coat is basically done. I have maybe about a foot of top stitch, I mean, uh, hemming to do on the bottom. Um, let's see. I've got, well, no, maybe a couple of feet I have left. <laughs> um, I've done basically most of this side um, of the hemming. So, and you know, there's the back detail too. But again, this does need to be pressed, so sorry it's all wrinkled. But that's the beading and the applique. So that one is, I would say, three quarters of the way done. And then that will be finished. And, and then here we have the jumpsuit. <laughs> I don't know how much you can see that. Um, you can see. So you can see here um, the jumpsuit and the progress that I've done so far. You know, get the placket, um, the little pocket, and I've got to do the um, zipper. I have the pockets done. Very nice. And then it'll have to be hemmed. And so that's really good. I'm happy. That's moving right along. Oh, and that's a hat that I also started because you know I'm always doing 50 things. <laughs> and then the long white dress. So we're working on the bodice basically. Um, and we have the waist and it's all hemmed. So the progress is coming on that too. Um, the top has been a little fiddly and then I have to put the zipper in the side seam, which I'm not too fond of doing those honestly. <laughs> but, um, and this is just gonna cross a little bit on the front. Well, like that kind of, well, I'm not demonstrating it well. Anyways, <laughs> um, my dress is thrifted. I got this on Friday on my lunch break. It's a Nanette Lepore. Um, it's a tiny bit little tight right there. I think I'm gonna put a stitch in there to hold it. But I love that and it was, if I recall, I think it was five dollars? Five or seven, it might have been seven dollars, but it was like brand new. So that just makes me happy too. 
So anyway, 